Okay, testing, testing. I'm back already. Now, welcome back, guys, to some uh, Dark Souls uh, 3 action. Venkabot, my name is David. If you enjoy my content, uh, please uh, subscribe, follow, tell your friends. It all helps me out a lot. So, uh, we got our Claymore finally. I was just telling Steve, we got our shield, we got our heavy armor, we got our Claymore. Now we're playing Dark Souls. The Venka way. Uh, so, I want to uh, go back to this bonfire. No, 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 no. Let's go talk to the, let's go to the uh, high wall. Where is that guy in the cell? I know where he is. He is here. We need to go show him Loretta's bone. He wanted to bone Loretta. We're going to show him Loretta's bone. So it's going to take a minute to adapt to the Claymore. It's uh, not as fast for punishes. I've been using a lot of uh, very quick punishes lately. But it is pretty good for uh, crowd control. As Steve knows, in uh, Dark Souls 1 and 2, I used uh, the Black Knight Sword and uh, other great swords later on. Great swords are kind of my thing. And they're very good weapons. I hear they're some of the best in the series. I'm sure I'm not unique for uh, using great swords, but... Ooh, look how beautiful it is. Man, this game's got great graphics. Hey there, buddy. Oh, yeah, it's very slow. Oh, it doesn't even one-shot this guy. Okay. It's very slow compared to my uh, longsword. The damage is okay. But the range is good. So that's very interesting to me. Because I always said that great swords were too strong in, oh, too strong in Dark Souls. Because they have such crazy reach. Uh, why would they need to have more attack power? That's what I always said. At least to that dramatic extent. I said, you know, you're trading the slow wind-up time for the reach. Seems like a pretty fair trade. So, uh, why have so much more damage as well? Perhaps this game has addressed that, at least to, a, uh, to an extent. Uh, I want to go... No, not that way. Down here. I have seven Estus flasks now. That's pretty good. Oh, wow, I whiffed. Oh, my God. He felt that one in his fucking ovaries. 100%. He felt that one in his ovaries. Hey there, buddy. I gotta fucking take a nap on the job. That's fine. This game's also much more aggressive, even than Dark Souls 2 with the walls. The collision is way better than Dark Souls 2, which was way better than Dark Souls 1. And I love that. Oh, I can also spend my souls to level the Claymore now. I've been waiting to uh, get a greatsword before leveling up a weapon. Awesome. Just awesome. Hey, buddy, I've got a bone for you. I've got a bone to pick with you. Oh, what have we? You did it hardly. Uh, I mean, I've got her bone. I have to grant his request first? I don't think I want to use the bone near him. Let's just grant his request. Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the High Wall. Do your part, and I'll do mine. Oh. We went to the Firelink Shrine, I think. Uh, absorbs damage. Oh, increases damage absorption, so it increases defense when your HP is low. Okay. Oh, yeah. I've got her bone. What do you want me to tell you, buddy? I think uh, she has no use for that ring anymore, dude. 
Anything else I want to do while I'm around here? Uh, I don't think so. Let's go back to Firelink. Find him. Hopefully give him the bone, if you know what I mean. I mean, literally. That's what I mean. Literally hand him a human bone. After that, we'll go to the uh, Shrine Maiden. Give her the bone. The only ones we give this guy his bone. There's a knight out here. I kind of want to fight the knight, actually. Might as well while I'm here, right? He's down there. I should kill these guys fast. Those guys fucking heard me. Yo, that's so sick. This game seems to have a much uh, more interesting uh, stealth mechanics and stuff. They heard me kill that guy, and now they all kind of paid attention to me. Does he have like a uh, Metal Gear Salad AI where he gives up eventually and gets back to his patrol? No, he sees me. He can see my head peeking over the top. Hey, buddy. Want to fight me or no? There you go. It's more like it. Come up here, dude. My turn. I have no stamina. Okay. That was fun. This thing takes a lot more stamina to use. And the uh, long sword. Also, what's the stance on it? Oh, not that. This. Typical stance. So you can assume the stance while moving, but you slow down. Kind of funny. Like, I wish that you move slow while your shield was up. But you do move slow when you have your stance. I've got this move. That's a guard break. And this move. Hey, T-Rob. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two, two, two. What's up, bro? Long time no see, home slice. How you been? How have you been, homeboy? I want to go back to Firelink Shrine. What's good is we're playing Dark Souls 3 finally, man. That's what's good. Also, on uh, Saturday, I'm doing a 24-hour stream. That's also good, I hope. Hopefully it's not bad. Okay, so let's uh, do this number. We gotta find... Uh, What's-his-face? We can also raise up our Claymore. T-Rob's working. T-Rob's working. Ah, good. What neat. Oh, let's reinforce this bad boy. Ooh, it's a big damage jump. Goodness gracious. Do it again. I like it. I can't use the whip. It probably has too much dex requirement. Just by a little bit. Pretty be careful. I don't want that. You know what? Pretty be careful, motherfucker. All right? Don't get up in my fucking business. Is that him over here? Yes. Hey, bro, I have a bone. Oh, hello, you're back. I'm in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket you need, speak up. He's a shopkeep. Just don't ask me where I got them. <laughs> I can give him the bone, but I want to check his stuff first. Mm, bastard sword. I like to claim more than the bastard sword in uh, Dark Souls 2. Just barely. They're both pretty good. Kite shield. That sounds good.
leather armor, thief masks, arrows. Okay, nothing that great. Buy embers from him. Do me a favor and give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Got it, bro. A nuisance, I know, but it will help me tie up some loose ends. Good voice acting. Here's a bone, bro. Heavens, she was already dead. Thank you. I'm not surprised, though. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring as, well, a little trinket of thanks, I suppose. Damn that voice actor. <laughs> Uh, Eric says, I forgot how lame this mission was with a random squad. No one ever fucking revives. You, oh, you're playing Warframe, right? You can keep the as. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, that's... oh, this place is a bore. What good is thievery if you've nowhere to go? <laughs> oh, man, that's such great voice acting. I'm sorry, I love it. I'm a broken record, but what can I say? Okie dokie, Smokey. So now I want to go back here. And I want to um, travel to the uh, dilapidated bridge. That's where I want to go now. We're going to do some exploring and we're going to call it a night, I think. Okay, so let's go fight this guy first and foremost. It's gonna be a bit different fighting him now because I have this claymore. Instead of my usual stuff. Where am I going? I wanna go down here. This is way better for killing this guy. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I just need the fucking Black Knight Sword. Okay, so we haven't been over here yet. I want to explore over here before I go in any of those creepy ass doors. I'm not really big on creepy doors. I like treasure as much as the next guy. Maybe even more so. Creepy doors, though? Yeah, I'm not totally at 100 on those. I'm gonna go up this hill on my right. Probably can't. But I want to. The little bridge here. This must be the dilapidated bridge. Or maybe that's the... No, this, this is the one right here. Okay. Yeah, I can't go on this hill. Bastards. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at this. Sneaky, sneaky. I mean... Nothing up there. Just a way to avoid that guy, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, well, that was a roller coaster of emotions. Well, let's carry on. What's through here? Hmm, dead guys, crows, trash mobs. What was that? Oh, those are like golf arrows. 
Oh, that's what all these things are on the on the ground. These killed guys walking past here. Those look like Goff's arrows, but I don't think it's really Goff. So it means we have to be careful. Maybe a dodge roll uh, challenge. Hmm. Well, nothing up here either, but uh, way to fall to my death. That's a letdown. That's a treasure over there, but, uh, giant arrows. I mean, what are you gonna do? I could probably kill him from the other side. That's kind of what I'm supposed to do. I wish I could see him coming. I heard it. You can hear it coming. Oh shit! Oh, this doesn't do that much damage either. Yeah. Holy shit! That does a lot of damage to those guys. This is pretty fun. Yo, he's just killing them all. He's letting God sort them out. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Well, I think I got some health back anyway. Picks up a lot of fucking dirt. I deserve to die right there. I want this fucking treasure. Oh, my shield it works. If I know where it's coming from. branches. Hey, T-Rob, you're hanging out here with me. <laughs> oh, shit, what the fuck? You're here on Venkabot, dude. No need to be alarmed. Where else would you be? Any other treasure I missed? Fucking lazy Excalibur teammate fucking doing nothing in the boss fight. Okay, I see some treasure over there that I want. Oh my god, shields are so good. There's a jump over there, that's pretty nasty. What's the best way to jump? Right here. Okay. Pushes me back pretty far. I gotta be careful. I can jump back right there. Drugs are nice. So I've heard, man. So I've heard. I also heard drugs are bad. Shit. Okay, so I can't, I can't get over there. No reason to jump down there.
Man, this shield is unbelievable. Anything else cool up here? Okay, so he can still hit me up here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cut it out, dude. That's one of the Flamberge guys. Flamberge. Okay. I believe you are done with this area. Hmm. But there's treasure right there. I can see it. I have no idea who's shooting at me, man. You'll need to ember in this vicinity. You'll need to ember in this vicinity. Steve, what happens if I ember? What's the point of embering? What does it unlock? Mortician's Ashes? Sounds like a quest. Could just be... I also got a un, undead bone. Like the space before the arrows. Go back there and ember up. Start firing on me soon here, I think. Tira wants to see him. I can one shot that guy now. Let me in. By yourself in here? Seems that way. Ow. This guy's fucking serious. Hey, I can go out there or I can jump up there. That's what I want to do. Oh, look at that. There's... More to explore over that way. Hmm, no. It's gonna be a tricky jump. Try to jump off at of that ankle right there. There we go. Not so bad. A great scythe. That's pretty cool. So Steve says I'm done with this area. There's something over there. Look, I can go around here, too. Nothing up here, though. Anything cool up here before I go back? This is pretty creepy. Maybe there's ghosts here I can only fight while embered? I don't know. Pretty creepy. There's a shortcut you can unlock. If you're embered? Oh. Something just loaded in. Got a frame jutter. You could say that, Venka. I think that's probably in response to my thing I said about ghosts I can only fight while embered.
Where are you trying to go? I don't know yet. I'm just exploring. Let's see what's over here. I think I see a giant. That guy looks like a giant to me. Do not go into that room. Oh, that's a big, nasty tree. And it's definitely alive. Do not go in that courtyard. Gotcha. Looking like a boss fight. I should go back to my uh, Estus. I think I got a statue to the pilgrims. Uh, am I where I think I am? Sure I am. By the rules you've set for yourself, you don't want to go in there. The rules I set for myself? No idea what that means. By the rules, uh, you don't want to go in there. Uh. Only rule I have is to not kill somebody in some attack. I want to fight this guy right here, though. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Come up here. He sees me now. Come up here, dude. Your dokens won't work. Come here, bro. Come closer. Come here. Come here. Come here, she bro. Fuck your Hadokens, dude. Here you go. Get behind. Backstab. Kill her on the way up. Ooh, fuck. I did no damage, though. Not sure why I did no damage, but it literally did, like, no damage. Okay, so I found a shortcut to get here. So that means there's only one path. I don't know where it leads. That's pretty neat. He says I should ember up and go over there. I'll do that, uh... Could go do that now, I guess. Let's kill these guys first, though. Hey, I got the, uh, the, uh, pitchfork. I guess they call it a plow. Pretty cool they go flying. When I get blasted. Uh, Eric needs nanospores, but I haven't unlocked a planet for him. I'm sorry, dude. If I could help, I would. But I'm helpless, man. Oh, isn't one of those bastards up here with the urn? I don't want him to fucking jump me. There he is. Hey, bro. Hey, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. One. Two, three, four, five. Wow, I got the wrong input. All right. Lock off. Look around behind me. Come here, bro. He just stands at that spot. It wouldn't have aggroed if he left him alone. Yeah, but fuck him. I didn't want to. I thought maybe I might need to run up there for some reason. You know, give myself some space. Two. Three. I might be able to combo that. It's gonna be way easier with the claymore. Quite the pacifist. Yeah, but fuck him. Hey, I'm not pacifist against guys I know are gonna attack me. I have uh, clairvoyance. If they're gonna attack me, then I fuck them up. Hey, buddy. 
Come here. Okay, that's a better jumping attack than my other sword. There's a few of these guys. Those guys both aggro at the same time. Are these cheat codes you have? Uh, no, I'm just amazing. I don't need cheat codes, man. The shield is a fucking cheat code. Yeah, because they always both aggro at the same time. But I can kite one away, I think. Yeah, okay. The other one already turned around. We lost line of sight. Come here. Come here, dude. One. That's bleed damage. Two. Three. One, two, three. Oh, I can still knock this guy now. There we go. Now we're playing Dark Souls Devenko way. His attack through his attack. Okay, I want this guy to fight me too. Hey, 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 where are you going? These bad guys, what are they? I don't know. They're they're giant uh, assholes. Well, they are. That's all I can tell you. They're not nice guys. I know that much. Oh, they're hollows? Okay, this game does still have hollows, then. Let's attack this guy like forever. Okay, that worked out okay, I guess. Okay. So I can attack him twice, it seems. It seems I can attack him twice and, uh. before they, uh. can recover, auto recover. There's one more to kill over here. I don't, want, I don't want to trigger the dogs yet. Let's try and kick him off again. I have to kick him twice. Let's actually S this up first. Hey, buddy. Are you a pacifist too? Ow! Thought I was far enough away. Two, three, four, one, fuck. That was, uh, not hashtag worth. I went for the flying attack there, thinking I was a god. And maybe I am, but still. Even a god has to be careful of that. Let me just beat the game first, yeah. I'm sorry, Steve. I, I'm, a, I'm a man of my own mind. What can I say? Ooh. Yeah, I'm just gonna clear this area out real quick. And then I'll go check it out. Poochie, cut it out. Man of my own mind. It's my game, I just gotta hassle you. It's Venka's game, we all just live in it. I want to open this door. If it's a boss fight, so be it. I'll die with no Estus. And then I will, uh... 
go check out that thing. No, no let's go look at it. Let's go check it out. I don't want to get all the way back over that uh, area. Although, yeah, all right, I'm going to open the door. I'm going to open the door. If it's a boss fight right away, then we're going to have to fight it with no, uh, no Estes. Anything in here? Okay. So I'm satisfied now. See, I open the door. I can see what's in there now. The mystery isn't there. Uh, Dark Main 55, welcome aboard, bro. Thank you for the follow. How are you doing, homeboy? How's your night? We're gonna go see something super secret right now. Shout out to Overlord Steve with the hot, hot secrets. Oh, look it, I can kill these rats and go right back to where I was. That's what I want to do. I'm doing pretty good, uh, Dark Main. It's a nice, warm evening. Uh, after my stream ends here in about five minutes, we're going to watch Overlord Steve play The Surge. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I stream uh, five nights a week. Ooh, shit. From uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time to uh, 10 o'clock, excuse me, to uh, 2 o'clock a.m. From 8 to 2. Uh, five nights a week, so. I'll be back tomorrow for some more uh, Dark Souls 3 action. I assume we're going to be watching Steve here in a minute. Because I'm about to clock out. So we got some rats here, including a big boy. Hey guys. These guys are squatted up. Oh shit. That was a nasty whiff. That did no damage though. Test Saiga. Another hour of Venka. Yeah, where are we at now in terms of follows? So how many more rats are there back here? If you need a summon or some tips help, just ask me. Oh, thanks, Darkman. I appreciate you. It's always handy having more tips in the chat. I don't see the big one. Oh, there's somebody back there. There he is. 55, according to the thing? Nice. So there's two more in the fog. I can, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, I could throw a bomb. Yeah, I could throw a bomb. But I'm gonna do this instead, watch. There. <laughs> Fucking Dark Souls 1 strategy, man. Dark Souls 1. Back when I was in, uh, Ulusil, I said that my stamina was just a idiot bar. Once it fills up, I just go ham. Some ganks baking here. Okay, so now I've made a full circle. So now I can go see what Steve was talking about. Leroy, exactly. Okay, so Steve says I should ember up like right here. And there's a secret, I guess. Or something. Where's my embers at? These. How much more health do I get? Yeah, not that much more health. Okay, look at me. I'm embered now. Invaded by a dark spirit, Holy Knight Hodrick. Oh. Okay, well, I got no uh, Estus. Let's fucking go. I don't give a shit. Oh, there he is. I don't need no fucking Estus. He said. <laughs> before dying. Come here. Come here. Okay, you got a stance. Who cares? You can break my guard. I don't care. Okay. Maybe you're glitched out. That's fine. Stance. Stay away. I want to fall off a cliff here, actually. I want to fight him in the other area. Shit. I want to fight him over here. Come here, bro. I want to punish his stance attack. My heart's pounding. He's too far when he does it, though. I gotta be careful not to go back to the fucking uh, arrow area, though. Okay. Good start. Keep a safe distance. Hmm. 
Okay. Stop. You son of a bitch. Stop it. It's okay. Oh, you son of a bitch. It's only attack him on punishes. Okay, he's got a stance. Watch out. Not a, lot of room, not a lot of room to dodge here. Okay, I should have attacked there. Oh, he's got a healing spot there. It's okay. Watch out, watch the stance. I don't think he can parry me now. I wonder how much Estes he has. Maybe he can parry me. He's doing something weird. I think he's trying to enter stance. I wonder if he has limited meter as well for his uh, little healing ball. Ball sure does last a while. Want to sip, homeboy? Do you want to sip, homeboy? I dare you right now. Boom, bitch! Get off my fucking stream, homeboy. A vertebra shack. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Let me catch up with you here. Uh, something about... Let me... Uh, I can't read it anymore. Uh, parry action. Yeah, no parry action here. Can I use the healing spot? I doubt it. I can use it to my advantage. Don't want to shit myself before I stream. Oh, okay, my gosh, my heart's pounding, guys. So I got a lot of souls for that. And let's go level up. Clean up aisle Steve. So, Hodrick, where did I meet him? I met him at... Uh, oh, yeah, he was the guy that gave me those uh, cracked red-eye orbs. Oh, okay, well, that was fun. Travel back to the Firelink Shrine. Sorry, Darkman. Got overly excited. Got overly excited with the cringy reaction there. What can I say? Oh, let's see here. Oh, that was Leonhard I met here. Podrick, was he the guy that I met down in the pit? Hmm. I should raise vitality. What else do I have here? Yes, the pit. Okay. Cleric hats, worker hats. Worker garb. Cleric blue robe. Lots of cleric -y stuff. Okay, I'm going to level up, read some descriptions, and call it a night. He gave me the Mad Phantom Covenant. Okay. What's funny is I want to kill him in the first place. Welcome home, Ashen One. I kind of got my chance. Speak thine heart's desire. I don't like his attitude. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Hmm, okay, so I could raise my vitality again. I really should. I'm gonna need a lot of vitality. <laughs> Let's do that. My other stats are high enough right now. I feel good about that. Note how you said 
If you were embered, you might be able to fight some ghosts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. I guess I could in a sense, couldn't I? Farewell, Ashen One. So, yeah, it was like Dark Souls 1 then. Yeah, you have to be embered to uh, get certain fights with uh, NPC invaders. It was tough. Yeah, thank you, Steve, for the hot tip, as always. Let's read some descriptions and then call it a night here. Get some lore in our guts. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have this key as well. The Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. Oh, that's cool. I'm not going to remember that for tomorrow, but oh well. I was able to fight a phantom, you're right. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, the longsword. I'm putting this away now. No, I should keep that just in case. Already read the rapier. I've already got one of those, I think, right? Uh, how do I switch here? I guess I kept the rapier. I thought I might use it. Okay. Reinforced club. This is a club made for uh, made more deadly by the attachment of numerous nails to its heads. Uh, the nails allow this strike weapon to be lacerating, but the damage caused by their insertion has reduced its durability, making the weapon fragile. My uh, ex-girlfriend has the same problem. Skill war cry. I let out a spirited war cry to temporarily boost attack. Okay. The four-pronged plow. This four-pronged plow is shaped like a fist. Okay, I didn't notice that. And is a worker's tool in the undead settlement. A not originally intended for battle, but serves as a deadly weapon owing to its sharp points. It can charge. Oh, it's like a spear. Okay. Gotcha. And the halberd. I want to try that, too. She had nails in her club? Uh, no. Let me see. Where, where was that? Uh... Yeah, the damage caused by their insertion reduces durability. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, Halberd. I already read that description. I wanted to try that, too. But I have my claymore now. I will keep it on. Uh, the Great Scythe. Attacks with this large scythe, normally used for crop harvesting, are effective at breaking past shields. Oh, right. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 had that. Uh, the magnificent, sharp, curved blade instills fear in opponents. Perhaps it's their survival instinct at work. As a neck swipe. This attack aims for the scruff of a foe's neck, and when successful, functions as a headshot, inflicting heavy damage. Good greatsword's coming up. Maybe I shouldn't raise my claymore anymore then, huh? I'm not gonna use this. Put it in the... So we have a whip here. A leather whip that was never intended for use in combat. Of little use against armor and tough scales, but quite formidable against enemies with exposed skin. Its skill is impact. Uh, strike from the left to evade shields and deal a stinging blow with a temporarily slow stamina recovery. That's so sick. This game's skill system is so fucking awesome. The shackles of bondage lie deep in the hearts of all humankind. Wow. Talking about bondage and whips? That's not a mistake. Cestus is my brother's weapon. A fist fighter's weapon made from thick straps of leather studded with iron rivets. When two-handed, uh, cestai are equipped to each hand. Uh, that's okay. That makes sense. Uh, perseverance. Uh, yeah, uh, cross arms in front of the body to temporarily boost poise. Damage reduced while activated. Oh, that's interesting. And including the greatsword. Yeah, the greatsword was in Dark Souls 2 as well. Yes. Yeah, the greatsword. Which is itself an ultra greatsword, I believe. Okay, I'm going to put in my longbow now. The longbow commonly used by hunters. Arrows must be equipped in order to use bows. Up to two kinds of arrow can be equipped at a time. And these can be switched as necessary. Uh, puncture is the skill. Pull the arrow even further back for a more powerful shot that can pierce shields. Nice. Cystai are used a lot in the offhand to parry. Okay, so probably pretty fast parry. Makes sense. A small leather-covered round shield. Uh, it functions a large. Excuse me. It features a large central protrusion designed for parrying attacks. This one probably has a really fast parry. Oh look at. Oh no, I, I changed my mind. Oh wait. So their icon refers to what kind of shield they are? No, maybe not. See the little icon in the lower left-hand corner? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, it's the skill. These are parries, that's shield bash, and this one is uh, weapon skill. Okay. Gotcha. Let's see here. This is a standard wooden round shield. Uh, it's decorated with twin snakes, an ancient symbol of the Great Swamp. So that's uh, pyromancy, the Great Swamp, right? 
Oh, wooden shields are light, manageable, and offer relatively high magic absorption. Okay. A makeshift shield cobbled together from wooden planks provides minimal protection at the cost of moderate humiliation. Wow. A shield bash. Without lowering your guard, strike the enemy with the shield to knock them back or stagger them. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know it was a stagger in the other games. I always thought that it was just damage. That's actually pretty interesting. To be able to do that without lowering your own guard. The blue wooden shield. A wooden shield painted a bright blue of the symbol of clerics who have become undead. Close to a small shield in size. Okay. This is a wooden shield reinforced with metal, the largest of the wooden medium shields. Now, the bizarre pattern featured on the shield is the mark of a mad god, revered as a god of war in remote regions. That one gives me weapon skill, which is pretty sweet. Okay. Now, a Lothric Knight Helm. It's an armor of a celebrated Lothric Knight, a strong steel helm, if a little bit worn. Uh, the knight has served as one of the three pillars since ancient times. What are the other two pillars? And shares place alongside the wyverns as a symbol of Lothric. Only those possessing a knight's resolve are fit to wear this garment. Cleric hat. A hat worn by a cleric turned undead. Typical attire for blue-robed travelers. It's said that they are entrusted with a duty. Still, its nature is yet to be revealed. And the worker hat. Uh, a hat worn by inhabitants of the undead settlement. Official attire for the dissection and burial of undead. Uh, naturally, the ceremonial, excuse me, the ceremonial significance of such work is long forgotten. Indeed, no one could continue to entertain such horrors. Okay. Steve is setting up his stream. Uh, have a good night. I'll only see a few on my next channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you over there, Steve. I will definitely see you over there. A cleric blue robe. That's beautiful looking. A garb worn by a cleric turned undead in unmistakable vibrant blue robes. It's said that the blue robe travelers were entrusted with a duty. They bore large covers on their backs to ensure that they would not become seed beds for spreading darkness. Hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. So, the pilgrims, maybe they were infected with something? Because their backs are all weird? Worker garb. A garb worn by inhabitants of the undead settlement. Okay, so this is all the same description there. Cleric gloves. Okay. And the trousers, all the same descriptions. Arrows. Got some uh, rings here. The fire clutch ring. A ring depicting a hand grasping a red stone increases fire attack but compromises damage absorption. An old fable in Londor claims that the lure of the clutch ring reaches out to the crestfallen, who might otherwise be overcome by despair. Hmm. There's the blue tearstone ring, a ring set with a large rare tearstone jewel, temporarily boosts damage absorption when HP is low. This stone is said to be a tear of sorrow of the goddess Katha, and of course, tears are always more beautiful near death. Huh? I don't know if I agree with that. That's a little bit of a reach. This mystical ring was created in a sacrificial rite of Velka, the goddess of sin. Its wearer will lose nothing upon death, but the ring itself breaks. A sacrifice is only worth as much as the life it spares. Okay, that's cool. We've got some uh, covenant type stuff here. Uh, this is the warrior of sunlight, an ancient talisman depicting a holy symbol bestowed upon the warriors of sunlight, equipped to pledge oneself to the warrior of sunlight covenant. Warriors of Sunlight are brilliantly beaming cooperators who place their golden signatures to help those in need, for it's their duty to deliver a great conquest to their summoner. And the Way of Blue. A pale blue sheepskin parchment featuring an illustration of the moon, symbol of an ancient accord. Members of the Way of Blue are the beneficiaries of an ancient accord. When a dark spirit threatens them, a blue spirit will grant them assistance and help to root out the invader. Summoning takes place automatically while this is equipped. Okay. Sounds like fun. Uh, mound Makers. A malformed vertebra found by the mad, with a queer symbol on its inside, proof of the shackles of the gods, equipped to pledge oneself to the Mound Makers Covenant. But the Mound Makers wish only to add to their mounds, becoming mad spirits whether summoned as cooperators or invaders. They are blithe to those around them, for in their minds any kill might lead to another shackle. No idea. Okay, well, got some lore in our guts now. Good stuff. So, uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me again tonight. I'm gonna hit up Overlord Steve, of course. I invite you all to join me. Ah, and I'll be back tomorrow for my last non 24 hour stream of the week. My god. Yeah, I'll see you guys over on Steve's channel. Have a good night, guys.